Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from the North Jackson, Tennessee area uh, at uh, University Village Apartments on uh, Walker Road near the Westtown Commons uh, Shopping Center, about a mile north of Union University. Uh, getting ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days shortly. It turned out to be a very beautiful clear sky today. There's a few little high clouds floating by from time to time, but it was still a beautiful day. Uh, had high temperatures uh, uh, below 90 degrees, <laughs> and we're still in August. Oh Lord, what an amazing August it has been uh, this year, even though we did have a few hot days also, but that's kind of normal around here during the summertime. Alrighty, let me go ahead and go on into today's uh, climate summary with you. Uh, as of 5 p.m. here in North Jackson, the skies were mostly clear. The temperature at that time was 83 degrees. The dew point was 59 degrees. There was no significant uh, heated, uh, heat uh, index today. In other words, it felt the same way as the actual temperature. Uh, the humidity was at 44%. The wind was out of the northeast at 6 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 30.01 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature here in North Jackson was 56 degrees. At the Jackson Airport, I believe it dropped to 54, but it's 56 here. Uh, the high today was 84 degrees. Actually, that's one degree cooler than yesterday's, 85 degrees. So we're doing good. Uh, had no rainfall course today since midnight. The lowest humidity would be 43% at uh, 2 and 3 p.m. The highest would be 100% at uh, 1 a.m. and then again at 4 through 7 a.m. Uh, the highest weather, excuse me, the lowest barometric pressure today was 30.01 inches, and that was at 2 through 4 a.m., and then again at 4 and 5 p.m. The highest pressure would be 30.06 inches of mercury, and that was at 9 a.m. through 12 noon today. Today's highest wind gust at the Jackson, Tennessee airport was 19 miles per hour at, out of the north at uh, 4.23 p.m. The sun will be setting tonight at 7.33 p.m. be rising tomorrow morning at 6.22 a.m. The sun, uh, excuse me, the moon will be setting tonight at 9.00 9.33 p.m. and rise tomorrow morning at uh, 10.14 a.m. Now today's records for August the 24th, the hottest high would be 104 degrees and 1983. The coolest high would be 74 degrees and 1950. The warmest low would be 75 degrees and that occurred in 1983, while the coldest low would be 53 in 1997. So both North Jackson and the airport came close to that record uh, coldest low this morning with 56 here and 54 at the airport. So that was close, but still no record. Uh, the record rainfall for today would be 2.50, two and a half inches. And that was back in 2002 when that happened. Alrighty, let me go ahead and go through a few days forecast with you and show you maybe a few graphs and then I'll be through for tonight. We should have mostly clear skies tonight and again tomorrow. And we should have a low tomorrow morning of about 62 degrees. So it is going to warm up a little bit tomorrow morning than what it was this morning. But still 62 feels pretty good, or will. Tomorrow's high should get on up to about 88 degrees. So it'll be a little bit warmer, 
but still below normal, which is 90 for a high. And uh, we should have east winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. Saturday, fair skies continue with a low near 63 and a high of 88 with northeast winds at 10 to 20. And Sunday looks like continued fair skies with a low near 61 and a high of 88 with northeast winds at 10 to 20. And Monday and Tuesday looks kind of rainy at this time. Uh, looks like it's going to be very, very cloudy on Monday with a 50% chance of some showers and thunderstorms uh, decreasing to 40% by Monday night. With a low near 65 and a high of 84 with south winds at 10 to 20. On Tuesday right now looks like mostly cloudy and no precipitation at this time. With a low near 65 and a high of 84 with southeast winds at 10 to 20. And uh, Wednesday looks like mostly cloudy skies with a 40% chance for some showers. It is a small chance, so it probably won't be an all-day rain, so to speak. With a low near 63 and a high of 83 with east winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And I'll cut it at that and remind you that you can catch the full nine-day forecast if you'd like to at my weather website and it'll take you all the way through to Saturday week uh, September the 2nd and you can read it there if, if you'd like at southjacksonweather.wordpress.com okay let's move on to the surface map feature features courtesy of uh, weather underground and let me turn the camera around so that you can see it too. It looks like we have a good scenario going on right now. We have a high pressure uh, near St. Louis, Missouri that's taking care of us right now. And probably will through the weekend. We have a cold front that's stretching from way up there in the northeast of the northeast states <laughs> with the low well off the coast of uh, I'll say New Jersey stretching down to another low in uh, southern Georgia then a stationary front all the way out to the big bend of Texas and there's, there you see the lows and highs and troughs out west another long front there from uh, basically Montana on up into uh, Canada. And maybe where that cold front there is, uh, swings around to a low way up there in Canada. It's covered up with my little monitor thing. But for, for us, though, we're in good shape at the moment. There's Hurricane Henry. That low pressure there off of the Mexico coast. It's projected to move north, it's right now moving north northwest, which would take it kind of between Corpus Christi, Texas, and Houston, Texas. The latest advisory had it indicated of uh, 85 mile an hour sustained winds, of course, there's a higher gust, and I believe it was moving north northwest at around uh, 10 miles per hour. I can't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head. But it's projected to hit, uh, hit the coastline of Texas. Uh, let's see, moving north northwest to 10 miles. No, I got that one on the money. <laughs> I'm looking at the latest advisory as of 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. It's 305 miles southeast of Corpus Christi, Texas, at the moment, and it's projected to hit somewhere along the, the Texas coast. Uh, sometime tomorrow night or early Saturday morning and of course a lot of rain is expected out of it when it does hit and it may get up there in Texas and near Louisiana and spin its wheels for a day or two might move back out into the Gulf and then turn around and move back inland somewhere and might affect us here in uh, West Tennessee uh, toward middle the end of uh, next week 
we'll have to wait and see if that actually happens or not. Well, alrighty. Let me move on to the uh, Tennessee radar and satellite combo. And let you see that right now we're not that bad of shape here in Tennessee. A few of the clouds to our north right now from Madison County will be moving by. And there's a few of those that's going to be moving by. But it's really not going to disturb the clear skies that much. Most of Tennessee is cloud free, except for those clouds just north of us right now. So we, we might briefly go partly cloudy, maybe even mostly cloudy, but it won't last long. It shouldn't last more than an hour or two maximum, and then basically you go back to fair. Very cloudiness may almost be accurate, but I think we'll have a lot more clear skies, a lot more hours, I should say, of clear skies than cloudy skies. But that's uh, what I'm thinking right now. And of course it's clear all around us as well. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, also show you, other than a real close-up view here, of uh, the Southeast Regional um, Satellite and Radar Combo. Alright, and then I'll be through. There's Tennessee once more. And there's those clouds moving in from Missouri. But see this, uh, see that clear spot just to the left of that pin, which is uh, indicating Jackson, Tennessee. There's a lot of clearness in that area. So we may be catching a southern edge of those clouds during the early evening hours. So, generally speaking, it's going to be fair skies overnight. Generally speaking. Uh, let's see. North Carolina is so-so. Uh, especially the eastern half. Florida is uh, mostly cloudy, but there are a few spots where the sun's coming through. It's raining down in the southern portions of Florida, looks like. And... There's the doozy. There's, <laughs> you call, call it that. That's Hurricane uh, Harvey now. And if you look at just above the uh, AccuWeather's um, sign, you can see a little bit of a hole there in the middle. I believe that's an eye trying to form, the eye of the hurricane, which is almost due east of Brownsville, Texas and it's moving north northwest so i'm going to take a wild guess if i can do this right and say that the, it's going to come inland somewhere along in here and it would probably hit shore somewhere in there i can't believe i've done that so steadily but that and that's again by tomorrow night or sometime early uh saturday morning as the as the current projections for that hurricane it's raining there in spots already now but it's going to get a lot worse down there by tomorrow afternoon probably or tomorrow night at least on into saturday morning but that's down there it might like i said affect us toward midweek to to the end of next week uh by then here maybe that's only a chance though well, alrighty, that's the radar systems and everything I wanted to show you. So I'll come back to here and tell you that I guess that's it for tonight. I hope all of you have a very pleasant evening and hope uh, you have sweet dreams. Wake up to a beautiful Friday, uh, August the 25th, 2017. And be sure to check out my uh, uh, live on Facebook uh, videos also. Uh, which is uh, sort of a partial report of what I do here on YouTube. And thank you for checking out my YouTube videos also. I enjoy both of them. <laughs> and I hope you do too. Alrighty, good night everyone. And may God bless all of you. And I hope to get, uh, get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow evening. And until then, good night.